Uh, I'm Ari Bernstein. I direct the Center for Climate, Health, and the Global Environment at the Harvard Chan School of Public Health. There have been many studies now looking at gas stoves and their potential to contribute to breathing problems in, in children and adults. I think there are a couple of quick and easy steps. One is to make sure that if you're using one of those stoves, that you use it only for the time you need it, not to leave it on for longer periods. The second is if you have a vent, uh, a hood over the stove, or sometimes the vents are built into countertops, uh, use it, because that can also make a dramatic difference in the amount of pollution that accumulates in the room. And if the weather's decent and you're able to open some doors and windows and use a fan to help air circulate through your kitchen. Short of all those things, if there is someone in the home who has sensitive lungs, uh, whether that's a younger person, older person, a person who's pregnant, keep them out of the kitchen if cooking's going on, um, because it turns out that in most homes, at least, the greatest concentrations are going to be near the source.